time, Zolan Kano Youngs from the New York Times. Uh, Madam Vice President, you have made clear that the message of this trip is centered on a collaborative future. Um, at the same time, the Biden administration committed to calling out any foreign government that advanced anti-gay legislation or violates human rights. All three of the countries that you are visiting on this trip have advanced anti-gay, advanced or proposed uh, anti-gay legislation. Uh, has a bill that would imprison those that engage in same-sex intercourse. Gay sex remains a crime in Tanzania, and same-sex relationships are outlaw outlawed in Zambia. What have you said to the president and plan to say to other leaders on this trip about the crackdown on human rights? And for the president as well, uh, you've talked about the proliferation of terrorist groups across the region, uh, as well as pirate activities along the western African coast. What does the presence of what does the presence of the Wagner Group uh, say about past U.S. support when it comes to security? What more do you need from the United States to combat this threat? And also, can you confirm that Al Qaeda has a presence currently in Ghana? Thank you. I have raised this issue, and let me be clear about where we stand. First of all, for the American press who are here, you know that a great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people and that all people be treated equally. I would also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue, and that will not change. So thank you for the question. First of all, we don't have any such legislation here in Ghana. A bill has been proposed to the Parliament of Ghana, which has all kinds of ramifications, which has not been considered by the Parliament. It hasn't been passed, so the statement that there is legislation in Ghana to that effect is not accurate. No legislation. The bill is going through the parliament. It's going through the parliament. The attorney general has found it necessary to speak to the committee about it regarding the constitutionality otherwise of several of its provisions, and the parliament is dealing with it. At the end of the process, I will come in. But in the, in the meantime, the parliament is dealing with it. And I have no doubt that the parliament of Ghana will show, as it's done in the past, one, first of all, its sensitivity to human rights issues, as well as to the feelings of our population, and will come out with a responsible response to the, to, to the proposed the legislation. was a legislation that has been provided provi as a private member's bill. This is not an official legislation of the government, but it is one that has been uh, being mooted by a handful of private members. So you will see what the final outcome of it. But I'm, uh, my understanding from the recent discussion I had with the chairman of the committee, the substantial elements of the bill have already been modified as a result of the intervention of the Attorney General. We will see what the final outcome will be. And that is the stage at which I will also have the opportunity to prevent. Wonderful people of the diaspora, here is my first tour. Africa Zone is now going productive, and uh, our motto is for Africa to win. And our revenue lets you know that our revenue, the 50% of our revenue, goes to helping people in Africa. The less privileged than us, you know, in supplying their school materials and assets. So do not hesitate to visit the store through this link, africazone.merchpass.com. Uh, you will see my product and all over the world it can be ordered and be delivered to your door effectively and i'm announcing this to our community uh, to support me and to support africa zone in the journey of moving back to africa and also participating in the development participating in the emancipation of our continent thank you very much